Dr. Forsman, we, re, we, we frequently tell our patients, you know, that there's disease progression, you know, in chronic pancreatitis. What exactly can you explain for our patients we mean by disease progression? And not only that, why it's so important for patients to do their part of what they have to do in order to prevent disease progression? Sure. I mean, this is really an important concept for patients and physicians and other caregivers to think about. And that is that um, chronic pancreatitis is a, the word chronic means that it's present sort of once it starts, it's there forever afterwards. It's uh, in certain um, perspective, it's kind of irreversible. That is once you get it, it's there. But that doesn't mean that it's going to progress rapidly to serious consequences. And the goal really is that we want to slow any further damage to the pancreas as much as we can and maybe even prevent any uh, future damage. So one of the important things that your doctor will do when they're monitoring you is they're going to assess, has there been any additional damage to the pancreas over time? So they might do that by getting a follow-up CAT scan or an MRI to see if the pancreas is starting to look worse over time. And that might give some information about how rapidly the problem is progressing. Um, the other thing that they're going to do is they're going to try to measure the function of the pancreas to say, is it still making enough digestive enzymes, for instance? And if it's not making enough digestive enzymes, the patient may notice that there's been some change in their bowel movements where there's either fat uh, that's not been absorbed that's present in the bowel movement, or they start getting loose stools or gas or bloating or lots of extra intestinal noises, or they may be losing weight, they may be losing muscle mass, but um, your physician really will want to assess the status of your pancreas, its ability to function normally, both in terms of digestive enzyme production, as well as in uh, terms of insulin production. So those are going to be tests that are done, not only when the diagnosis is first made, when the first uh, you know, when chronic pancreatitis uh, diagnosis is first made, but also over time to see if there's uh, 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 a reduction in function uh, over time that might need a specific treatment. And lastly, um, having chronic pancreatitis does increase the risk of getting pancreatic cancer. Uh, this risk is mainly in people that also smoke. So your physician, physician is going to spend a lot of time counseling you to make sure that if you do smoke, you stop. Uh, and that's one of the things you can do, which will be very, very helpful in reducing this rate of, of progression. And the rate is different in different people. In some people, it's very, very slow. And in other people, it tends to be more rapid. And we're, uh, I think all of us are trying to uh, study that um, to determine what are the predictors of somebody going slow or going uh, fast towards more advanced disease. Excellent. No? Thank you very much. That's a very complete answer. You know, I would like to add that if you have as a patient a chronic pancreatitis or multiple episodes of pancreatitis leading to what could be chronic pancreatitis secondary to a systemic disease, like you well said, you know, hypertriglyceridemia, if you have a condition like diabetes or others, it's extremely important that you get your medical condition under control as much as possible to prevent further episodes of pancreatitis. So this is something also that it's extremely important to make it clear to our patients, get your disease under control as much as possible to, re to prevent repeating a, a, a episodes of pancreatitis that can get what we said again, disease progression, making the disease worse. So our general goal, you know, physicians working together with our patients, it's to keep the disease at the lowest level possible so it doesn't advance. That's such a critical point, Dr. Galru, that um, uh, our patients need to be just as focused and just as involved as we are mm -hmm. uh, because we want to preserve pancreas. You know, we want it to last their whole life with normal function. And uh, so uh, the patient has to be just as engaged and just as motivated as we are to make that happen.